Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today is going to be a current favorites and a couple fails. Just recently got my community page, so I kind of ran a poll because I was like, I'm filming today, what should I film? And so this was a very popular choice few hours after I posted it so here it is and I do have some items I've got mostly favorites but I do have a couple fails so yeah I just wanted to share them with you so first of all if you are new to my channel welcome thank you so much for joining me and I do hope that you will hit that subscribe button and become part of my dollar diva family I like to call my subscribers dollar divas because we like a lot of Dollar Tree oriented videos at this channel and I do a little bit of everything but I especially love to make a lot of Dollar Tree oriented videos. So if that sounds like you, you are definitely in the right place so I do hope that you'll subscribe. And of course if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for returning and supporting me in my channel. So if you want to see what my current favorites and fails are, definitely keep on watching. All right, so the first favorite. Now some of these, one or two of these may have been in another video at some point, I can't remember, but I've got two cloths from the Dollar Tree that I am just loving, absolutely loving. The first is this little makeup removing cloth. I have the Erase Your Face cloths. They're kind of a knockoff from the original makeup eraser, and they were a little bit more expensive. It was like $10 for I think four, I think I bought them on like eBay or Amazon and they're really good, I still have them. But then Dollar Tree started selling one in case you weren't aware. And it's a little smaller, it's a little round, it's kind of about, about the size of my hand. And it works just as good, it really does. It This one's freshly washed, see there's really not any staining on it, which is really nice. So I just have this in the rotation with all my more expensive ones. So yes, if you've seen this at the Dollar Tree and have wondered, does this work? It absolutely does. I use it by itself with just water, just as the directions say. And I also sometimes for a little bit more stubborn eye makeup, I'll use a little bit of micellar water. Then you just wash it in the washing machine. And I've washed this one several times already. So yeah, these do work and I am loving it. I love that they sell this type of a thing at the Dollar Tree. I do have a video that I've done and I'll put it up here in the cards as well as down below in the description box. But it kind of talks about all like the fancy items that Dollar Tree sells and yeah this is definitely one of them so yes they do work for sure then a second item from the Dollar Tree and I've got two of these and I bought a second one because I liked it so much is this polishing cloth it's kind of like a microfiber terry cloth and this one is also freshly washed and basically what I'll do is I'll wash my face and then I'll wet this and kind of gently wipe off the cleanser, especially around my hairline and my neck, and you'll see makeup come off onto this, and then I'll rinse my face with water. It just kind of gets the heavy cleanser off, and like I said, really gets the makeup around my hairline without me making a mess, splashing it everywhere, and then I'll rinse off my face kind of lightly, and it works really well. Like I said, I bought one and used it, and I liked it so much, I bought a second one, so I really, really enjoy this, and for a dollar, you definitely can't beat it. It's much gentler than like a, like a wash cloth, like a face cloth, even like a really nice quality one, like the ones that are really fluffy that you might pay good money for. I find this to be so much better. It's called a polishing cloth and it comes in like a little green box. I usually find it near the hair products at my Dollar Tree, but if not, you might wanna try your makeup section as well, but yeah, I love this. So I'm gonna share another favorite and then I'm gonna get into a fail. So I just bought this and have used it a couple times and it's the EOS. It's the Shea Better 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion. I got the one in Vanilla Cashmere. I think they have a coconut one as well. This is what the packaging looks like. Of course, it has that kind of rubbery feel like all their stuff has. And this smells amazing. The coconut one smells really nice too. Oh my God, it smells so good. I don't know if they have other varieties, but my local grocery store um, had just the two. I'll have to look in CVS and see. This, if you're familiar with Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works, one of the Christmas scents. This smells pretty much identical to it. So good, nice big container, the packaging is awesome. You know, of course, moisturize is really nice, but it just absolutely smells amazing. So really, really, really liking this. So now for a fail. So for me personally, I just had this in a makeup basket and I just don't love it as much as I would like. It's the LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation. I have the shade Nude. Now, it's not the worst thing on the face of the planet. I do like it better than just the regular LA Colors foundation that you find at the Dollar Tree, but I do not like it as much as the Sassy Chic 
foundation and BB cream. It just it just felt like it just moved around a little bit on my face. Now it covered pretty good. Um, I don't really know about the matte, you know, thing because I do will do anything I can to make my skin look more dewy. But like I said, I just prefer something else from the Dollar Tree so much more. Like I said, I would choose it over the other one, but and then I don't ever find it very often. And this was the first time I found a shade light enough for my skin tone, which is great for anyone that has darker skin than I do. But yeah, I'm just not too, too crazy about this. And I needed to work with it a little bit more to kind of come up with a conclusion. But I mean, that's not to say that you might not like it, but like I said, I've, I prefer the Sassy Plus Chic face products over this any day. For sure. So another favorite, and this was in a recent Dollar Tree and Marshalls haul, and I had been on the hunt for like a cleanser that I liked that was foaming, and I liked a Lancome one that I got a sample of, and then there was this other tea tree one that I liked, and but I haven't been able to find anything at the drugstore as of yet that I like. I did have a Dollar Diva suggest an Aveeno cleanser, and I haven't yet gotten to that, but I did find this at Marshall's, and I liked it so much, I bought a second one, that way I could have one in my medicine cabinet and one in my shower. It's the Shiseido Benefiance Extra Creamy Cleansing Foam. And so what sold me was, it says, work up a rich lather and massage over face. Rich lather sold me. It has a bit of a strong, scent. It's, it kind of smells to me a little bit floral, but also clean and fresh. So and it doesn't really bother me, but if you're sensitive to scent, it, this might bother you. But I love the way it lathers and a little, like a pea-sized amount goes a long way. These literally will last me forever. Um, this is a 4.4 ounce container and I think I paid $20. I think the original price was like 34. Of course, getting it Marshall's, I paid like 20 bucks. So I am loving this cleanser so much, so much that I bought two. Now for another fail, and I bought this, I think one of the days I was at Marshall's. Um, I do tend to have a lot of redness in my skin and I saw this and I think I paid about 15 or $20 as well. And it's the First Aid Beauty Anti-Redness Serum. Helps the skin look calm, relieves visible redness, and reduces the appearance of flare-ups. Good for sensitive skin. This is what it looks like. And I just, I don't have any adverse reaction to it, but I literally notice nothing, nothing. So I'm gonna continue to use it. I tend to use it like in the daytime. And it's like a serum. It comes in this little pump bottle. But yeah, I just don't really notice anything. I'm just gonna continue to use it and just see if I see any difference, but my skin is still pretty red and you know, looks a little irritated from removing makeup and just, I have natural redness in my skin tone anyway. So yeah, this is not, this has been pretty disappointing for sure. Okay, so something else that I am loving and there was a learning curve with this and I think I've got it all worked out. So I am doing like gel nails and my nails are always a mess. They're just like a little bit less of a mess than normal. Actually, they're starting to grow out, which is a testament to what I'm about to share with you. This is gel polish, the kind that you use with an LED light. And my learning curve was prepping my nails. Now that I know how to prep my nails and I have the right products to use, it stays on a couple weeks. Like I said, it's growing out. I've had this on since, had this on for about a week and a half. So the brand that I am using, it, you buy it Sally's. It is the ASP brand of gel polishes and stuff. And you have to use them with an LED light. So I'm gonna show you first the polishes that I'm using. So this is the, and I just have this one shade cause I didn't wanna like jump the gun if I hated doing this, but it's rose gold slippers. So this is what it looks like. So this is the base coat. So they have the number on their step three and then they have the top coat step five. And when I was just doing these three things and like filing the tops of my nails, like it literally wasn't staying put. They were slipping off. But when I purchased the bonder, it changed the game. So I put the, I prep my nails, I kind of file them and then I clean them with some acetone. I apply the bonder. I don't know if I have to put it under an LED light, but I'll put it under my LED light for like 30 or 60 seconds. Then I do the base coat under the LED lamp. Then I do two coats of the color and of course put my hand under the LED lamp each time. And then I finish with the top coat, put my hand under the LED lamp and then I wipe off there's like a sticky top coat, or there's like a sticky residue and then you just wipe that off with some, like an alcohol wipe or something. And I have had awesome luck. The Bonder was really the thing that sealed it, but I'm really liking this brand. It does really well, you just buy it at Sally's. It's a little pricey, like, you know, it's like 10 bucks for a shade of nail polish, but 
you don't have to wait for that drying time. I mean, you just sit under that LED lamp and when you're done, you're done. Your nails are good to go. You can do anything you want. And I've taken off the power cord, but this is my LED lamp. And this was just like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's got the settings. I'll usually do like two minutes in between each coat. I think you can get away with like 60 seconds. They also have a 30 second mode and then they have a 99 second low heat mode. Um, it's got a timer and, and it's just been amazing. So I've really enjoyed using these polishes, these gel polishes. So I haven't tried other brands yet, but I like this one so much and it's so readily available. I might try some from Amazon here pretty soon because you can get a better deal. Like you can get like six colors and you can get them for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. So when I wanna add more colors, I may go ahead and try that as well since I do have the bonder and the base coat and to add some other colors to my collection. But I've been doing this now for a couple months and I do feel like I've got the hang of it. So I've been really enjoying that. And then this is another product that I have been loving. Um, you all know I, in my empties several times, I've had the Gold Bond neck and chest cream. And I liked it, um, but I was wanting something a little stronger. And I'll put a picture up here of my neck, an unedited picture of my neck. You know, life is fair, you know. You know, I've, I was blessed with lid space, apparently. <laughs> and, you know, decent teeth, decent skin. But our necks, the our necks in my family, the neck is something that ages very, very rapidly and quickly. And I'm seeing it at almost 37 years old. And of course it was horrifying the first time I ever saw it. So I was like, I just really want to try some other neck products. So I was looking on Ulta's website and I saw this. It is the Crepe Erase Lift and Smooth Neck Firming Treatment. And it comes with this like rollerball applicator and you do it twice a day, like morning and night. Then you, and you know, you just kind of go like this. You just squirt a little bit out and you go in upward motions and that kind of thing, kind of in this area right here. And I have seen pretty much an instant effect and I don't know if it just makes me feel better or if it actually works, but I think in even my pictures, it looks tighter like before I edit them. So I am really liking this and I'm liking it so much that I'm wanting to try their eye cream and their, it's like a night plumping cream or something like that. Of course it's pricey, but I did find it at Ulta. I think it was like $65. So it's a high end skin product, but I'm very excited to try more of their products and, and this is going to be my go-to for the foreseeable future. So I definitely plan on repurchasing this. It's the only thing that's made me really feel better short of a neck lift, which I'm, I think I'm still too young for yet. It's just, it's not the right time, not to say I'm going to get one, but I need to just find something that makes me feel better about it. Cause you know, that's what this is all about anyway. It's how we feel. You know what I mean? It doesn't even matter if it works. If we feel like it does, you know, half the time that's enough. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I have totally have plans to repurchase and I'm interested in some of their other products as well. So I've been loving this. So I got one more favorite and one more fail. I'm gonna start with my next fail. And I don't have this anymore because I threw it in the trash, <laughs> but I will pop a picture up here. And it is the nail buffer that you buy from the Dollar Tree. It's battery operated and it comes with three different attachment heads to kind of buff and file your nails and all that kind of good stuff. And I got mine and it didn't work. And it actually got like hot, like it got hot. So I literally like threw it out of the house and got rid of it. So for me, it was a fail. Now they seem to get pretty good reviews on the website, on the Dollar Tree website. But for me personally, I will not repurchase it again. It was a complete fail for me. Definitely not worth a dollar. Definitely gonna spend a little bit more on that. And the last item, and this is a favorite of mine, it is the, and I did not have high hopes for this and I don't know why, but it's the Beauty Benefits So Lit Liquid Lip Gloss Shine. And I do not know the shade because they do not have it on the packaging, but here's what the container looked like. And I recently did a video and I will link it down below as well as up here in the cards where I use this lip gloss and it was just beautiful. My favorite ones from the Dollar Tree are the plumping glosses, but I think this one may, with the shade, I think the shade of this one may have bumped any of those out of my favorite. I mean, see, it's just like the perfect shade. It's like, it's like the shade that I was meant to have, like I should have been born with. It's so pretty. So yes, this is like, I think my favorite lip gloss now from the Dollar Tree. So I hope that you enjoyed this favorites and fails. I will have my favorites and fails playlist linked down below so you can check out the other videos like this I've done. I think I've done two others, something like that. So I will have that link down below so you can check it out. I will also have my entire 
Dollar Tree makeup and haul playlist link down below because I did share a lot of Dollar Tree products because I use a lot of Dollar Tree products. So I'll have that playlist linked down below so you can binge watch all of those videos if that is your thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.